You guys, it is the way that I've been fighting for my life today. <laughs> it is late er in the day. It's 4.51, Saturday the 3rd of February. And I have been all over the place today. I filmed a YouTube video. Um, I did a video on my setup. I wore this shirt. So when you see that video, I don't know which one of these is going up first, but whatever, when you see the video and I'm wearing this shirt multiple times, that's why. But you know what? I'm not gonna lie. I wear this shirt a lot, okay? It's comfortable, it's oversized, it's my vibe. But now I have been, I've been sitting here fighting. I'm at my gaming setup, if you're wondering like the perspective you're seeing in my office. I have been fighting with Battle.net and Activision on my PC for longer than I would like to admit. All I wanna do is play Modern Warfare 3 on my computer, that's all. I play it on the Xbox, I wanna play it on the computer. And the way it's like, eh, like blocking me is killing me. I need to move the footage from the video I filmed today over to do some minor cut downs and filing because I wanna send it over to a potential editor. Let me show y'all my gaming setup. So if you've been watching, I did a collaboration with Best Buy where we built my dream gaming setup. A lot of the stuff over here you can actually get from Best Buy, my monitor, stream deck, headset, uh, my controller is there but it's usually sitting there my light my keyboard all the things you know all the stuff from best buy so it was an amazing partnership that started last year but kind of trickled into this year but we just wrapped it so yeah that space is pretty complete my light is from amazon because people ask every time i post it it's from amazon you can order custom lights on amazon you just type in custom neon light and there's like a bajillion vendors let me turn off this light so yeah, I need to actually grab one more memory card. Hold. Boom. I wanted to do a little chatty vlog and just catch you guys up to the last month. I want to call these like BTS vlogs because obviously it's more of a behind the scenes kind of vibe, which I like. I feel like it creates more of a dynamic between us when I can take my like informative teacher hat off and just be a real fucking human because behind all the content stuff, I'm a real human just for the people who are curious and also i like to document the mundane things and i feel like this is a good place to do it i need to categorize off my footage and organize it i have been putting all my footage on this little guy this is my hard drive whatever um it's really small and it's perfect for travel so that's why i've been carrying it with me everywhere i go and kind of using this this is a terabyte i'm gonna go ahead and get another one but do two terabytes because as much as a terabyte is when you're filming a lot of content it won't take you forever to fill that up you know Chill. i'm just gonna turn on my amaranth light to brighten up a little bit okay while i'm doing this i'm gonna catch y'all up on the month of january the travel the events the being a full-time tech creator how's it going okay because we haven't really had a good time to debrief and every time i come back from an event i'm so freaking tired and burnt out and at the time i was like doing one event turning around doing another so i just didn't have time to do like a real debrief with y'all and just kind of tell y'all about how everything was now ces i do have a ces vlog i'll link it up above if you're interested in ces and or you're interested in the DJI Pocket 3. Here's the little baby here. If you're interested in seeing what kind of vlog footage you can produce with this camera, this I have an air tag on it. If you miss my Instagram debacle, then you would maybe not know that I lost this camera and had to rebuy it. So I bought the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 again. Listen. But this time I put an air tag on it, so if I do lose it, I at least know when, you know? I only use this camera for that vlog, so you can check that out. So we don't need to talk about CES because we already did. Now, after CES, I came back on the 11th and then I ended up leaving again on the 16th and we flew to San Jose with Samsung for the Samsung Unpacked event. Let me go get my S24 Ultra also because I want to show y'all that here is the S24 Ultra. At the event, they actually gifted us the phones to, you know, obviously try out and have our own experience with. The Samsung Unpacked event was basically their event where they launched or like shared that the new phones were coming, all the details about the new phone. They also teased a Samsung ring. If you're familiar with like Aura Ring or Ultra Human, I think that's what it's called. They're like those tracking rings that can track sleep and all these things. They didn't say anything about the ring, but dropped it on the screen and was like, oh. And we were all like, whoa, what? 
what else? <laughs> and they were like, nothing. So we didn't really get that much information about the ring, but they told us all about the new AI features that come on this phone. I have a video talking about those features. I am an avid Apple user. Okay, obviously I have my 15 Pro Max, but <laughs> I have equally been using this phone as my business phone and there are lots of really cool features on it. So I wanna do a day in the life sharing more about this phone because I feel like if you're looking for a second phone, prior to getting that phone, I had the iPhone 15 as my second phone and I love this phone. It's cute, it's nice, it's like a great phone. Now that I got the Ultra, I'm not using that obviously. Anyways, San Jose was great. I got to meet with a lot of different creators, which was super fun. It's always good to network. I'm learning that in these type of spaces, networking and building community has a lot of value and it's important to me to be able to like help my peers out when I can with whatever I can and kind of have people that I can lean on for support and help too. And in these events, you really get a chance to like meet and mingle. So lots of that. We did a culture day, a media culture day where we got to pretty much got all of the influencers together on a bus, took us to do activities. I have some footage so I'll insert it. We like went into the middle of the woods and <laughs> looked at this really strange house and it like defies gravity. And so we all got to hang out there and then we went on this train ride and then we also went to get food together and it was just nice to be able to like just network and talk to people and being an influencer is weird because we don't though we have co-workers we don't go to work every day in the office and hang out with our co-workers like and a lot of times our co-workers are all over the world <laughs> so at these events I think it's really important to like meet and hang out and talk to these people because we don't often get to do that. All the people that I met who work for Samsung, Chef's Kiss, all great people. And also I've never been to San Jose. I've been to California a bunch of times, but never San Jose, which I didn't really realize was Cupertino. So that was really cool. The weather was meh. I am manifesting going back to that area for another event this year. I'm speaking that to an existence so I can actually experience that area and like walk around and do all the things and like have a little touristy moment because when I go to new places, I like to look around. I'm nosy. So there's that. Then I came back and then we had New York on the 31st of January. And so New York was actually with Google, shared with us their wellness salon, which was really cool. It basically was this smaller, more intimate event where they demoed how a lot of the Google products they have are helpful and beneficial to like core needs of human beings like sleep and stress and exercise and like how you can use their products to better monitor them and track them and like just know insights about those things and that was really cool i actually really enjoyed that because i feel like i know these things i know these devices i know what they do but it's always so nice to see them in person so the wellness line was really cute they had these different stations set up there was a station where i sat down with someone to talk about bard and then i moved over to a different station i got to talk to someone about just the new features dropping on the pixel pro 8 which i do have okay <laughs> here's some of the stuff i got from google at the event. One of them being the Pixel Pro 8, which I am, I already have one, I'm testing it out, but they actually gifted me with another one, so I'm excited. This one's a different colorway. It's just like this nice nude color, so they gifted that. Then they gave us the Pixel Watch 2, which is also in the same color. Then I got the Pixel tablet case. You can kind of see a little better. It's like this pink case. It's for the Pixel tablet because they gave us Pixel tablets with the speaker dock and I'm like so excited to set this up. So my goal this year is to change my house into a smart home. Since I met Mia, she's phenomenal. I love her so much. And she's gonna be helping me just kind of like get set up in that area. The Google event was in New York City. It was in Soho. So that was really nice because I love New York. I took Lando with me, but we didn't get to do as much, but it's always nice being in that city. Again, I am manifesting that I will be able to go back for something at some point this year when it's warmer. So we got there Tuesday, we left Thursday night. So it wasn't like a super long trip. It was really in and out but it was efficient. So super grateful to the Google team, super grateful to the Samsung team, like amazing, amazing, amazing. January was a hell of a month. We started off like rolling, you know what I mean? A year ago, I decided to be a full-time tech influencer 
and I was really just winging it because I had come from like coaching and business and beauty and lifestyle and so it was such a hard pivot that I actually lost a lot of followers. A lot of people showed no interest in tech and I understood that but I just knew that I personally was losing the passion for the other things and I wanted to do something that kind of like lit me up, that excited me, that made me feel like creating is creative and it's not just you know, oh, I'm just doing this, you know I gotta do it, following trends, blah, blah, blah. And I wanted to get online, be myself, be authentic, but still be able to show up and give valuable insights to people. And a year later, life has gone crazy. I left my job at Apple in April of last year for multiple reasons. Um, my biggest one was my dad was sick and I knew he was sick. My dad had been sick for a long time. Like, because a lot of people ask about like my grieving process and I don't I don't think they mean harm but like I think people are genuinely concerned I get asked a lot like how am I doing like how am I navigating grief and you know my dad passed October 7th last year so it's still really fresh you know like when people say like how are you doing I'm like I'm figuring it out I'm navigating it's day by day some days I feel okay some days I feel Horrible. So I was working full time at Apple and I was like still doing consulting stuff and then also trying to do content creation. It was just way too much for me. And I knew I was like, dude, if I need to take any time at any point, if I need to take some time, it's going to be right now. You know, I need to take the time right now to spend more time with my dad. And I'm so, you guys, out of all the decisions I made, that was the best decision that I made because it gave me six months of just doing whatever we hung out so much we went bowling we took road trips like like we kicked it you know and so yeah that that was that was that and now and I'm like very much still nav navigating for me it's like a little bit more unique because one this is like the first um experience I've had like that obviously my mom's still alive so um there's that and then also like I kind of shared this on socials but my dad and my goddad died in the same week. Not from the same situation. One had cancer, my dad had heart failure, and it just was timing. My dad and my goddad were best friends since they were like five. So the, the going joke is they did everything together and <laughs> unfortunately, even death. Thank you guys for that, that's so pleasant. Very on brand for them, but that was a big, hurdle and at the time I was dealing with that that was in October my business had revved up like I, I think October was the busiest month you guys I think I had 11 active partnerships at once all while dealing with grief but I just knew that my dad wouldn't want me to like stop or slow down like that just wasn't his vibe he would have been like girl get up get up you know and work through it and December I took a little bit of time off January this is my first January in the tech space and while in other spaces I feel like January is kind of like a slower month slower start it is very well not that in the tech space and I'm learning that and so getting through January was amazing a blessing I did it and now we're in February happy black history month and we got a lot to do still we have a lot to accomplish and I'm looking forward to it. One of my goals for this month is to hit 20K on here. So that is just like 2,000 more subscribers. I say that like that's small. That's a lot of people. Okay. And I don't really, I don't be doing a lot on this YouTube space. So I don't know how long it takes you to grow that. But my goal would be to do that this month by just showing up and being consistent. And um, yeah, like rocking with y'all because I actually like talking. Can you tell? So yeah. That's my little January debrief. I might just vlog this day to give y'all a little more insight into what else I do today. Not that I'm doing that much. I have two things I need to do. One of them is like clean up my bathroom real quick. So we can do that together while we wait for the footage to transcribe. <laughs> not that I avoid this space it's just not my favorite space to come in because it's so 
there's just so much stuff in here and I just haven't found the time to go through and get rid of what needs to be gotten rid of. I've been unpacking and packing so much that literally I unpack my suitcase, I dump stuff, and then I go on about my day. Just stuff everywhere. We're back in our little spot to see if our video has transcribed. It has. Okay, so it does this thing where on the side, it literally like gives you a transcript of everything you're saying and you can go in and like, I can just go in and delete. See, and as I delete, it deletes it from the video. So it makes it really helpful to do just like quick cut downs while also making sure that all of my main key points are in the video and being focused on so all right y'all the files have been sent to the editor so let's cross our fingers in the kitchen lando is cleaning he's really just doing the dishes i have cleaned up the house y'all only saw me do the bathroom in the closet but i have been like multitasking filming editing and cleaning all day I'm about to go to his brothers my sister-in-law's and eat i also <laughs> Oh my God, please. It's giving Joanne the scammer. <laughs> this dude will always find a workaround. Levi, Grayson, scamming your way through life. What do you have to say? I have nothing. What do you have to say? <laughs> Did you take the break I said take? Did you? Maybe. No, you didn't. This is just eight. He has to still be a teenager. This time I know y'all not praying for me. Y'all not praying for me. I was gonna take my camera over there, but I lied. I'm not going to because I want to, I've been working and stuff all day. I really would like to enjoy my evening. Um, so I'm gonna leave you guys here. We're gonna close out this little chatty vlog. I'm gonna go. I love you guys. I will see you guys in my next video, which should be soon. Bye.